Data visualization is the graphical representation of information. Data visualization lies at the intersection of the fields of communication, information science, and design. The main advantage of data visualization is not that it makes data more beautiful, but that it provides insight into complex data sets by communicating their key aspects in more intuitive and meaningful ways. Data visualization has been identified as a key 21st century research skill. Simple forms of data visualization have been around for a long time. These include graphs, pie charts, and even maps. Computer technology has enabled analysis of text to produce graphical representations of prominent concepts as word diagrams. Information graphics, or infographics, have become a mainstream tool of internet media. And data journalism relies on data visualization tools as the prime basis of reporting news about the world around us. These days, anyone with a spreadsheet and an illustrator application can make a data visualization. But there are also some great online tools that can get you started. Many Eyes is a free online data visualization tool created by IBM. Users can choose from existing data sets or upload their own data and choose from a visualization type. MiniEyes breaks these into useful categories such as comparing sets of values, track rises and falls over time, see parts of the whole, analyzing a text, and maps. Gapminder is a free online service that collects data and allows users to select world trends and compare them using a bubble chart. Gapminder's main innovation is that it displays how this data evolves over time, allowing population trends to be visualized. Gapminder also has a free desktop application that you can download for use during presentations. Advanced computer users may be interested in high charts. This is an online data visualization service that is free for non-commercial use. HiCharts produces interactive JavaScript charts that can display individual data points when hovered over. For more ideas on presentation and research skills, go to the Learning Commons Study Toolkits or attend one of our online workshops.